Okay, we have Sandra Rakers. Do, how do I pronounce that? I have to do a German pronunciation, yeah. right? In German, you call it Sandra Rekers. Sandra <laughs> Rekers. You know. <laughs> Sandra Rekers, welcome. I'm, I'm so happy to interview you because I spoke with Elena in Ice, uh, where was it? Iceland. 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 And and she was she was so thrilled about you and you really helped her and I think a lot of multi potentialites and other generous polymath amazing people are helping each other figuring out what is this and I'm just not having a label of ADHD or ADD there's more to it and it, this is actually a very interesting brain we have so thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for your inviting. No, of course. And we spoke first time, what was it, this week? Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't remember. Well, this yeah, week Wednesday? we spoke each other. I I, Wednesday? Monday. Monday? 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 I don't know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and, and I really wanted to interview you because, um, of course, you're a coach and you help people like us. Good job, you know. But I'm so curious. How did you figure out the way forward? A lot of multi-potentialites. I have, I have a few questions for you. This is the first yeah. one. It's, yeah. you, you shared with me, you know, you have these three ways to go forward, how to create your own business when you're a multi-potentialite. How do you structure yourself? Mm -hmm. um, how you do that, that's your coaching, that's, that's how you operate. I'm curious in what happened before that, sure. you know, because I can imagine you struggled yourself and, and you found a way out of there. How did you find your way out of that? That's what I'm curious about. Um, I think um, I didn't thought so much about it. I just, yeah, it, <laughs> I just did it. Um, when I first um, made my uh, my first steps in this online business world, um, before I was working in the kindergarten, um, I was working as a music therapist with um, disabled um, people. And all my life long, I can remember, I always was doing a lot of things at the same time. And um, then I got my first uh, yeah, steps into this online business world. and. Um, Everyone was telling, um, oh, you have to focus, um, you have to find your specific or niche in the market, um, you have to choose just one thing. Um, the, um, yeah, for me, it felt like um, oh, I'm, I think I'm not able to do this um, because there are so many other interests. And um, But when you think back at the advice, you need to focus yeah. and, and find your thing, your niche. They were right, right? It's true. Yeah, yeah, yes and no. Um, I think it's uh, it's true to find um, to find a niche, and uh, I think it's true to communicate clearly to your um, audience, to your potential customers. I think it's um, important to um, to have a clear idea of um, what do I want to sell, um, with which people I um, want to work with. Yeah. Um, but you can choose different ways um, and communicating them through different channels. And um, for me, um, I started this yeah, scanner topic um, in this online world, but um, it wasn't the only one thing um, I was doing. I, at the same time, I um, was also doing um, Qigong courses. Um, I was painting postcards and putting them into a, um, an online shop and I figured out, um, yeah, of, of course it's um, important to, um, to be clear, um, but at the same time, I'm able to do different things. And um, I figured out this topic of um, personal branding so that it's not so much about the specific topic. Um, it's about me, my person, my personality. Um, and when I'm showing myself as I am with all my interests, um, yeah, people, people know and people like me specifically for this um, because they know, oh, it's good. Um, 
when I'm going to Sandra. It's Sandra. And yeah, I, I understand. Me, first, um, first thing I'm I need to say, yeah, first thing I need to say is, and I forgot about that. Yeah. I always talk about multipotentialites, but everybody has his own words for that. And yeah. especially in Germany, and you like to work to use the word scanner, which is mm -hmm. the same as a multipotentialite, even though I, I find the word scanner, um, it's it's invented by Barbara Scher and, and Emily Wapnick was inspired by Barbara Scher to create multipotentialite. So it's it's yeah. interesting to see the evolution yeah, of these of, words. There are a lot of words are, and yeah. yeah. A lot of new words. We also know the word of um, generalist, um, multi-talented, um, uh, colored zebra. There are a lot of um, words we can use for the same um, type of personality. And um, Exactly, yeah. And, and it's interesting what you're saying is, so you're online with your online business and it's important to focus, but it's also important to do a lot of different things when you are a scanner, because that makes you happy. Yeah. And that's, that's what you find interesting from painting postcards to Qigong, musical therapy and, and all the things that you're doing. Mm. But you found out that there needs to be one basic element there and that's yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and this is something um, all my different topics have in common, because everything I'm creating, um, it's created by me, and it has my my spirit, my way of doing inside, um, and this, yeah, this kind of, um, uh, one of my clients, um, she said, oh, Sandra, everything I'm uh, you're doing, um, you always can feel this Sandra vibe, so yeah. <laughs> this is, um, yeah, this is the thing um yeah everything i'm doing has in common because it's it's me and i'm um i'm showing a lot of myself um online i'm showing personal things um because i think this is the bridge to really connect with um, other people it's yeah. not just only about my my topic um it's also about how I'm living this topic. There are a lot of coaches outside there. There are a lot of Qigong trainers outside um, there, but um, yeah, but no one is doing it like me and I'm not doing it like someone else. And um, I think, yeah, to, to focus on yourself, to find your own way of doing things. Um, this is, yeah, what makes you unique. Um, everyone is talking about, oh, you need this, no? USP, your unique selling point. You are you're yourself. You are your USP. Do you think that we need to create or you're a part of the creation and the solution for people like us in how to advise them? So what I mean is when you go to a bookstore, you have a whole section of management and inspirational books. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. But I'm, I, I would be so curious to find out if, if you look at all these books, from good to great and seven habits of highly infective people and, and you'll name them and they're all very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so curious, maybe in, so when you look at these books, they work for all of us, right? And, and seven habits from Stephen Covey, I remembered so well, you know, you have to, the, the, what you can influence and your concern and those are two different things. So that's, yeah applyable to and, uh, yeah that's that's applicable to all of us but i think if you look at the world that the, the way forward now is being a specialist and and is it's focused on one topic and be successful and and meaning make a lot of money there and then you do a good job i think for us there is a different job to do and we need to figure out as a generalist how to be successful and how to be happy, right? And and I think you found a very good way, and and you you teach people how to do that as a coach, yeah. Yeah. right? Right. And and it's very helpful because I don't think we just can use the normal advice that is out there because yeah. it's sometimes a bit different for us. Yeah, and this is um, exactly the reason why I started this kind of coaching because I. Um, I'm coaching um, what I wish um, my uh, yeah, 
could learn from someone else before. Um, so I had to figure it out by myself how to find a way. Um, and I don't know any other coach um, out there who's teaching um, how to build an uh, online business like like this. Um, all the other coaches I, I know, um, yeah, they are talking about that. You have to find your one thing. You have to find your one true calling, your one purpose. This is the only yeah. way to success. And um, and this is not wrong. It's a very, very good way. Um, oh, yes, for sure. It's, it's yeah, true. Uh, yeah. And so um, what often happens when clients are coming into my um, coaching, they are really frustrated frustrated because they think um, everyone is telling this is the right way and um, for me um, I, I feel I, I'm not able to do this and they think it's something wrong with them um, they think oh, I have to change myself to to fit in the system because um, I'm always hearing this is the one and only way to success and um, yeah when they are hearing oh it's it's a really good way but it's not the only one there are different yeah. ways you can build your business you can be successful you can earn money um from what you love to do and um, it's really like ah oh, they they feel it it's a relief freedom inside them and uh, yeah and yeah. this is what i really love about um about my work to to show and um yeah to to live it by myself to to be a living example for um how it can work um, in a different way a question it's mm -hmm. it seems to be that if you're a generalist and you do a lot of things people will be thrilled about it and support you as long as you're successful that means in the eye of the beholder of this society successful meaning making a lot of money mm -hmm. so as long as you're doing well financially it's easy to support, right? Yeah. Um, what is that? Why, why is it so difficult sometimes for people to, to understand that we have a need to explore and do a lot of things at the same time rather than do one thing over and over and over and eventually after 10,000 hours become a specialist and good at it and be rewarded for it. What is that? Why, why are people expect, accepting us as we are as long as we're financially successful? I think we have a weird definition about what is success. Um, success, um, yeah, most of the time combined with, um, yeah, earning a lot of money, um, making it faster, bigger, stronger. Um, and for me, um, yes, of course, I want to earn money with what I love to do. Um, that's one thing, but it's not the only thing. For me, um, success is also about um, how I feel in my life, how I'm spending my time, um, how I love and enjoy um, every single day. And this is something... Um, yeah, what success means for me too. It's not only about the money. Money is, is an important thing. And um, I think money is something <laughs> really great because it gives you so much, um, yeah, opportunities to, to work with, to deal with, uh, with, to bring something good into the world. But, um, yeah. but I think it's not the only perspective to look on what is success. And um, for me, living a successful life also means um, yeah, to to live all my talents to um, to spread everything that's inside me out um, into the world and um, to to and, and is that is that your definition of a scanner then Sandra what if someone would come up to you and say okay you're talking about scanners how do I know that I'm a scanner what what yeah. would you answer I think um, the um, the main thing about um, us is we um, this big amount of interest um, and um, by the way um, scanner is not equal scanner there are different types of scanners um, yeah not every yeah. scanner is um, doing a lot of things at the same time um, there is also um, the type of serial scanners they are diving very deep into one topic um, and then oh it's it's okay um, and they can switch to the um, next one and um, yeah they don't even look at the first topic um, again. 
No. And there are um, other types of scanners um, who made kind of circles in their topics. They start with topic one, go to topic two, three, four, five, and then go back to topic one again. Um, and they don't have 124 <laughs> topics. Um, perhaps they have uh, five, six, seven, um, and they, yeah, go through the topics and circles. Um, what kind of what kind of scanner are you, Sandra? Um, I'm a bit of um, hybrid. Um, yeah. I have a few topics. Um, I'm I'm dealing with nearly my whole life, um, like um, personal um, development, like to to grow your personality, to um, to learn more about yourself. This is something that is going on through my whole life. And then yeah. there are other topics that are coming in. Um, um, for, for example, um, a few years ago, I um, read an article um, about how to paint um, glasses and dishes uh, with special colors and um, put it in the oven, burn the color inside and stuff like this. And uh, said, oh, this sounds interesting. Uh, I want to make a 24 uh, pieces set and build an online shop. And uh, this idea really grew big in my mind. And then I bought the materials, the things, and then I started with enthusiasm and I made one dish, uh, one glass and one cup. And, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> so, um, and this is the, another definition of success. Um, sometimes for us um, as scanners, success means I want to know how things are functioning. I want to figure out, am I able to do this? And um, so after one dish, one glass, one cup, I figured out, oh, okay, I know how to do it. I know how the material is functioning. I know on which degrees I have to turn the oven on um, to burn the colors into the material. And uh, and so I, I was successful because I reached my goal. And yeah. this is, yeah. But I think uh, we can we can have another view on this topic, success. And sometimes success means um, to learn how things functioning, to figure out, yeah, am I able to do this? And yeah, I figured out, okay, I'm able to do this. So let's go to the next topic. Exactly. And some some people would, would say, and I said that in the beginning as well, but I'm, I'm not saying that anymore. We, we use the word bored to explain ourselves. Yeah. And I find it always a bit difficult because I don't think that's the right way to put it. Yeah. Personally, that's how I feel about it. But a lot of people are, are explaining this when they achieved some kind of level, they get bored with that subject. Um, I'm I'm interested in how you see that. It, would you describe that as well? Like after the painting of the glass and the, the, the and the plates and whatnot, was that something that you reached the level of boredom, or is it something else? I don't know if I would call it boredom. Um, for me, it was like, yeah, like I said, for me it was like I reached my goal. So um, yeah. it's a little bit like. Um, you're someone forcing you um, to eat when you are, um, yeah, <laughs> when your stomach is filled and uh, you say, oh, yeah, I've had I enough. I don't know the English yeah. word in Germany. We say, ich bin satt. Um, so, yeah, uh, or, I've had yeah. enough. Yeah. I, 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 I've had, yeah. Uh, had enough. I'm satisfied. So, um, yeah, I'm satisfied. Um, why should I continue um, on this topic when I, I reached my goal? And um, I like this. Um, this picture um, Barbara Sher is um, explaining in her book, she's talking about bees. Um, bees are flying from one flower to another flower. Mm -hmm. um, and no one would say um, to a um, bee, uh, uh, you're not able to focus, um, <laughs> uh, just focus on one only flower. Yeah. And yeah. What's, what's the bee doing? She's collecting the nectar. I don't know the... Yeah. Word, yeah. yeah. She's collecting, and that's exactly what we scanners are doing. We we are collecting wisdom, we are collecting exp uh, experiences, and um, yeah, and so we we're just doing our job. <laughs> we're just doing our job, right? But oh my God, is it difficult for some people to be a bee and to collect wisdom, right? Because our society is sometimes expecting something else. So yeah. it's it's yeah. good to have this very clear on yeah. what's happening. 
yeah. yeah. And how do you me, see? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. For me, um, the most important thing is about um, allowing myself to be what I am um, and how I am. And um, often, when clients are coming into my um, coachings, um, they they really feel um, kind of emotional pain. They feel like, oh, I'm not fitting into the system. Um, yeah. And they feel sometimes, um, yeah, they really nearly um, uh, depressed or um, uh, some of my clients uh, had kind of a therapy before um, and yeah, always were trying to, to fix themselves because they thought there's something wrong with me. And um, when they, are hearing oh there's everything okay with you baby <laughs> it's, everything is right you just need different um, systems for you you just need different structures but it's not about changing you your personality it's about how to change the structures and the systems um yeah, yeah. and now I'm, I'm i'm wondering struggling i know there are a lot of different scanners and so is it okay just of course it's it's okay to be yourself right mm -hmm. and it's okay that there is a culture that you're living in which can be different than who you are um wondering how you see the fact that in the past someone would be able to say to me oh perry perry is not focused and he just found another way out of not focusing because he calls himself a multi-potentialite mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and i always tend to to listen to these kind of things because maybe they're right maybe we are just you know just doing something and and that's it then right and we just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and I like to see the multipotentialite or the scanner to be a person who has some kind of superpowers and, and who's able to achieve something very amazing. And by just doing things a little bit everywhere, in my opinion, you're not achieving really something. Mm -hmm. So, I'd like to understand from you how you see that because agree, sometimes you need just need to go as a bee from flower to flower. But at some point you need to have a structure in what kind of flowers are working for you in the best way in order to have a good life. We can't just be constantly everywhere and not doing anything. Or am I wrong? I think both. I think yes and right. <laughs> yes and no. Um, I think, of course, it's good for us to get some kind of um, stability. Um, but this doesn't have to mean um, we have to focus on just one thing, because sometimes um, you can choose different topics and combine them to, um, to another topic that's um, I call it the, the rooftop um, so yeah. you um, have this kind of rooftop where you can put different things um, for example I have a, um, a client she's working with um, a lot of different uh, tools like um, NLP and stuff like this and everything she's doing um, it's about encouraging women um, and, yeah and encouraging women to um, get more into their own strength um, and empowering um, women. And so this is the, mm, the thing that puts everything Love together. That. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Th this is also a way, um, yeah, not just only for living, also for, um, for building your business to look at, uh, at your different topics, at your different flowers and to have a look, um, oh, perhaps there's something um, all these different topics have in common. And this yeah. can be me, my person, um, this personal branding thing. Yeah. Um, but also it can be a yeah, kind of um, topic that's overlaid over um, every, yeah, every group of um, different other topics. And, um, and at the same time, I think um, 
what is so wrong about flipping from one topic to another and why mm, mm, is it really well, it's, it's only we have to focus or no no um, no it's it's only the, wrong when when people when the people that are doing that are not satisfied with their lives yeah this is right this is and true. we we know we both know them right we know who we're talking about and, and and then you get the questions but i like to do everything which is impossible of course yeah so i, I don't know what to do and i'm lost mm. personally good job it's good to be lost because that's your yeah. way forward and you're finding your path and and if you're not lost you're, you're not getting anywhere so being lost is fantastic but right you know what i mean it's yeah. it's I'm everywhere and I don't know what to do. Help me. Yeah. And for me, it's um, not like black and white or you have to choose between um, doing everything um, or doing just one thing. Um, for me, my way is um, I'm combining these two elements. I have um, a few topics that are stable in my life. Uh, they give me stability um, and uh, at the same time, I have different topics like this, painting glasses <laughs> that are um, switching and um, this yeah, combination. This is what of Barbara Scher talks about, of course. You have your day job uh, uh, for three days a week, for instance, and you have the rest of the week to party and to play and to discover. Yeah. And there are quite some people that I know that have managed their lives like that, and it works very well. So yeah. you have your stability, you can pay your rent, you can pay your mortgage, whatnot. And, and the rest of the week, you can fly from flower to flower and enjoy life. <laughs> yeah. And for me, very important is um, business does not mean um, all the money has to come just from one source. No. Um, I build my business um, and my money is coming from different sources. Um, and for me, my week looks like um, uh, on um, Monday um, afternoon, um, I'm going um, to an institution to make some music therapy um, hours and lessons um, with the clients there. This is my, uh, my Monday. Um, on um, Tuesday and Thursday, I have my uh, focus day for the scanner business. Um, on Wednesday, um, I have my Qigong course and on Friday evening. And um, so I have different sources of income and I'm puzzling my, <laughs> my week together. And um, yeah, this combination of um, stability um, and also time for switching from one topic to another. This is a perfect mix for me. And how structured is your life, Sandra? Uh, it's, it's, is there a lot of structure? Is everything organized? Or is it just go with the flow and, and everything is happening? Or it's a hybrid, again, it's, solution? What, what? Yeah, it's a hybrid solution um, too. Of course. I, have, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> uh, I have some um, fixed appointments um, during my week. There's um, other appointments um, that are giving me stability. Like yeah. uh, the music therapy um, things, the Qigong courses. I have uh, every Monday at this time, every Thursday at this time, I have fixed appointments. Um, but for my uh, scanner business um, thing, um, I'm very flexible. So um, I can see, oh, there are three um, spaces of time in my calendar. And um, then I can, so yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, 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 can mix and I can say, oh, perhaps, um, oh, yes, no, today, no, we're doing this great interview. And um, at the evening, um, I'm recording some new content for the next online course. Um, then I'm in the morning, I'm sitting down writing a new blog article uh, for the website. Um, then I'm going on a meetup. Um, then I have a one to one coaching call. And uh, yeah, this combination of, um, between fixed appointments giving me stability and also have enough time to to switch to be flexible um, for me it's the perfect way of um, of living and of building a business too yeah and and do you coach only people in germany or anywhere um, on the planet uh yeah until now um, i got my first uh, international client now and uh, i'm yeah, open, um, I, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
until now, the main focus is um, in, on Germany, um, Austria, and Switzerland. Um, yeah, but I'm also love to coach all around the world. So yeah, if anybody's out there, <laughs> yes, just call what me. What we and... will do is we will put your details underneath here, the video there somewhere. We will write down your web address and your Facebook group and where people can find you because I think I really think you're doing an amazing job and I really think for us multipotentialite scanners, polymath generalists, whatnot, it's a smart thing to do to reach out to someone who figured out how it works and who can give you some guidance and some advice because when you figure things out for yourself and you understand how it works for yourself, you will be able to focus. And I personally hated when people were saying to me, Perry, you need to focus. And now that I've figured things out and I understand, and I read all the books of Barbara Sher and, you know, and I, I did a lot of self-study and now I'm able to focus and all the advice givers to me were absolutely right. You need to focus. But you can only focus if you know where you're going. And, and if you don't want to focus and you're, you find everything interesting, which is impossible, you cannot find everything interesting. If you find a lot of things interesting and you don't understand why, where that's coming from, from yourself, then it's difficult to focus. And then people like you are amazing coaches. You're doing such a good job in helping people to guide them and, and explain to them and help them to search their answers to, to, to move forward. Yep. And I, think, um, I, I wished I had a scanner coach before uh, yeah. when I was trying to figure out everything by myself because um, sometimes when clients are coming to me, um, they work with other coaches before and um, the coaches did a good job, um, <laughs> by the way, but um, them, they themselves, they, no, they didn't are do not, a job. not a scanner by, by themselves. And so I think um, if you, um, if you are, when you are a scanner and you're going to work with a coach who is not a scanner by himself or doesn't know about this kind of personality, it's going to be a little bit different because you will um, hear the old topics again, like you know, just focus on one thing, find your specific niche. And uh, again, you will think, uh, oh, I'm, uh, paying a lot of money for a good coach, a business coach, and I uh, have this feeling mm, it still doesn't function for me. So I think yeah. it's good to work with some with somebody who understands your kind of personality and um, who can find mm, it's not just only about me um, <laughs> or my work. No, 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 but we need but the better, insight. We need the yeah. insight. And, and the other coaches are absolutely right, but they're doing a, a horrible job for us because... Yeah. The whole story isn't complete. And yeah. that's also what I find with, with the, the schooling system. Yeah, I really, really, really hope after COVID that I can lecture on schools yeah. and explain what the hell is going on because at schools, they have no clue what a multipotentialite scanner is, what, yeah. what not. And if you educate children in what this is, then we yeah. can skip maybe the level of ADHD and ADD and just explain yeah. you have an amazing brain and you should use it and that's it. So, yeah. yes. And this is, oh, I'm really thankful um, that you are doing this uh, interview series because I think it's so important to spread this topic more out into the world and to, yeah, as you said, educate um, others about our kind of personality and um, yeah, what kind of strength and um, yeah, superpower comes with Exactly. It. So in Germany, I have a call for all the schools in Germany, hire Sandra and, you know, let her explain what is happening with us, which is also happening with the children at your school. And it's good to understand what that is, right? Yeah, <laughs> so I hopefully, agree. Hopefully someone sees our interview somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want to thank you. It's it's so nice talking to you. Let's keep in touch. Um, yeah, I would it's, love to. it's very interesting. It's it's good to to reach out to you to understand what's happening in Germany. For mm -hmm. me, to explore the whole world and and talking to everybody everywhere, it's 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 fantastic. So I'm very grateful and and very happy to talk to you, Sandra. And keep keep doing the good work. Yeah, I do my best. <laughs> 
thank you for keep doing for the, the good work. And, yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And for everybody who's watching and want to be in touch with Sandra, it's underneath just, here somewhere. Well, just write me, write me a mail, send me a message, and yeah, we exactly. Can talk. And then everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I do my Thank best. you, Sandra. I really, okay, really enjoyed you. it. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.